Yeah, what up, boxing fans? Um, I saw Carcino's video this morning, and I wanted to ask Carcino a question. Uh, Dante's boxing nation, and basically, all the Floyd Mayweather fans who say Triple G needs to be tested. Uh, Triple G ain't shit. Um, I got a question for you guys. If Triple G's not shit, why didn't Floyd Mayweather fight him at 154? When Triple G challenged Floyd Mayweather. Because I saw Carcino's video. And he said Triple G needs to be tested. Uh, he ain't shit until he get tested. Until he fights Andre Ward. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to get into Andre Ward. <clears throat> Andre Ward is my boy. But we're going to get into that later on in the video. And uh, shout out to Diplomats. He made a good video too on uh, Triple G. And I'm not really, I'm not really in the Triple G like that, man. I ain't no big, big Triple G fan. I, I, I catch it, I catch his fights here and there. Uh, I'm a Amir Khan fan, but um, I follow Triple G too. I follow everybody, man. And what the man, what he got about, what he 33 and 0, some shit like that. Like I said, I, I catch him every now and then, but I don't follow him like that. I think he's 33 and 0. He got about a streak. What his streak is about 20 something knockouts. And I always hear people say, man, he ain't shit. Until he get tested. What a motherfucker wanted to fight. The best fighter ever. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Floyd Mayweather is better than. He's better than Muhammad Ali. Floyd Mayweather is better than Sugar Ray Robinson. Better than Sugar Ray Leonard. Better than Tommy Hearns. Better than uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Better than Felix Trinidad. Better than Shane Mosley. Better than Willie Pep. Better than Joe Lewis. Floyd Mayweather is TBE. As the Floyd Mayweather fans say, he's the best fighter ever. So what better test than fighting the best fighter in the world? Wouldn't that have been a test? But instead, Floyd Mayweather went and fought Andre Berto. A fucking bum. So if the guy was a, a not if he was not a not a good fighter, as Floyd Mayweather fans say, and he needed a test, why didn't Floyd be the one to test him? Why didn't Floyd beat this overhyped hype job? And beat him easy. Floyd, Freddie Roach says, just came out and said that Floyd Mayweather would win easy. I heard Boxing Ego say that Floyd Mayweather would beat Triple G easy. So why didn't Floyd take the fight and beat him easy? Triple G ain't shit, as you say. He ain't. I, I agree, though. He hasn't. His resume is not that good. But who, who the fuck is that 160? Who is that 160 to fight? That's not Triple G's fault. That is not the top flight competition. Shit, who fought, who fought is that? It's not his. He fights at 160. But they want to say he he hasn't been tested yet. The man knocking out every fucking body, man. He knocking out all his opponents. That's all you can ask a man to do. Fight who's in front of him in his division and knock him out. Then they say, the haters say, well, he promised Mexican style against David Lemieux, but he didn't fight Mexican style. He knocked the motherfucker out. What, who the fuck give a fuck about a style, whether it's Mexican style, Caucasian style, black style, African style, Puerto Rican style? Who the fuck give a fuck about a style if he knocking the guys out? He knocked David Lemieux the fuck out. What he supposed to do? Kill David Lemieux? That ain't Mexican style enough? So he knocks a guy out. But they say he didn't he didn't he didn't fight Mexican style though. And he knocked the motherfucker out. What it was, six, seven round? Knocked David Lemieux out. So I don't know what style you wanted him to fight. Just more hate, more stupidity. People hate and don't even know why the fuck they hating. Just hating for no fucking reason. Got 33 and 0, knocking everybody out he fights. But they still find a reason to hate. Then they want to use Andre Ward. Oh, I know they don't give a fuck about Andre Ward. Floyd Mayweather don't give shit about Andre Ward, but we ain't gonna make this about Floyd Mayweather. We talking about Triple G. And I hear I hear everybody want to use Andre Ward because they know Andre Ward could beat Triple G at 168. I already know Andre Ward can beat Triple G. I know that already. But the motherfuckers want to use Andre Ward. And we know they don't give a shit about Andre Ward. Because you do, y'all don't want me to bring up that shit in 2013. Oh, I got all this shit hitting in my vault. Oh, I got it in my vault. I'm just wait. I'm just waiting to use it. I can use all that shit. I can use it, boy, because we know what Floyd Mayweather did 
and said about Andre Ward in 2013. We know what Flo y'all motherfucking Floyd Mayweather fans were saying about Andre Ward in 2013. But I'm going to keep that shit hidden in my vault. See, y'all want to use the motherfucker for y'all gain, nah. Because you know he's the only motherfucker out there that can beat Triple G. So you want to use the motherfucker. You want to use Andre Ward. Y'all don't give a shit about no fucking Andre Ward. You looking to use that man. But when Andre Ward called out Floyd Mayweather ass in 2013, link will be in the description. Call Floyd Mayweather out. Say, I'll fight your ass at 160. March 15, 2013. Call Floyd Mayweather out. And you can listen to him calling Floyd out. I'm going to play it for you. Once I pull it up, I'm going to play it for you. He called Floyd out. Floyd didn't want to fight. You were quoted as saying you were willing to come down to 160 to face Mayweather. Now, Is it stopping? Yeah, let me, let me uh, finish what I'm saying. Andre Ward was calling Floyd out because Floyd was talking that disrespectful shit. So he said Floyd was the champ at 154. So Ward said, let's fight, man. Let's fight at um let's fight at 160. Uh, in that moment, for all for as cool as you are and as you know, rare as I see you upset, did he hook you? I mean, I, I this is the thing. You know, I don't want to take away from the fight with Guerrero. Hey, weather. Now, in that moment, for all for as cool as you are and as you know, rare as I see you upset, I have to say that you were quoted as saying you were willing to come down to 160 to face Mayweather. <laughs> now, in that moment, for all, for as cool as you are and as, you know, rare as I see you upset, did he hook you? I mean, I, I, this is the thing. You know, I don't want to take away from the fight with Guerrero. It's not about me and Floyd from that standpoint. Um, I said what I said and I meant what I said. But... I know, you know, everybody knows that'll never happen. What happened was it was a response to a, a reporter asking me and, and kind of inquiring about the fight, and I made the comment. It was put on a headline, and I, I further cleared that up on fighthype.com. Uh, but it, it, to be honest with you, it's not even anything to talk about because it, it won't happen. You know, if, if he didn't have this fight with Guerrero and it was a situation where he was looking for a middleweight, then it would be something I would probably talk about. But I have nothing – negative or derogative to say about Floyd. Uh, I still respect Floyd. Floyd has uh, helped mold my style, uh, um, you know, over the years. And, you know, I, I have nothing but respect for Floyd. You know, he feels the way he feels. And at the end of the day, man, you know, it, 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 it's, it's okay. Well, if that fight's not going to happen, and, and I agree, it probably... Yeah, so you heard that. He was calling out Floyd Mayweather ass on his fucking ass. Did Floyd take that fight? Hell no, he didn't. Because Andre Ward would have pieced this fucking ass. He know that. No damn well he wasn't going to beat no Andre Ward. But let's that, we don't want to make this about Floyd. Let's go back to Triple G. So my question to Carcino, Dante, all the Floyd Mayweather fans that always say Triple G ain't shit. He might not be shit. But why the fuck didn't Floyd fight him? That would have been a test. You say Triple G should need to be tested. So why didn't the best fighter of all times, TBE, why didn't he fight this overrated bum? He would have beat him easy, as you guys say. Why didn't he fight him? Oh, that's silence. Oh, yeah. Everybody going to get silent right now. He ain't got shit to say, huh? He ain't got shit to say right now. We know it's just hate. It's all fucking hate. So the man need to be tested. But Floyd ain't going to fight him. Same shit with Amir Khan. Oh, he ain't got no chin. Amir Khan is a bum with no chin. But the motherfucker winning for Andre Berto, though. Why didn't you just beat? Why do you why you take less money to avoid a guy with no chin? That's a bum to fight Andre Berto. See, the hate. One thing about hate. Hate always going to be discovered. When you hating for no fucking reason, the shit going to be found out. It's easy to spot when motherfuckers just hating. When you hating on a fucking man that's 33 and fucking no with 20 something with a streak of 20 something knockouts. The hate is going to be discovered, man. When it, when you when you ain't got no reason to hate, you just hating for no fucking reason. The shit gonna be discovered. So my, that's my question for Carcino and Dante and all you Floyd Mayweather fans. If the man ain't shit, he need to be tested. Why didn't Floyd test him? It would have been an easy fight for Floyd if the man ain't shit. Yeah, but we know he is shit. We know he is a fucking killer. 